Hi, welcome to Hindustan Times Budget Explainer Series. In the second video of this series, we are going to understand about the government's receipts book. Government's revenues are akin to the income of a large family. Each member's earnings from various sources are pooled together to take care of the total expenses, like households. The government also borrows money to fund some of its expenses as income falls short of revenues. Total revenue receipt is the amount of money that the center earns during the year from various taxes and non-tax sources. Over the years, the government's annual revenue receipts have risen sharply, reflecting the growing size of the economy. India's total receipts are divided into two broad components, tax and non-tax. The government's main earnings are from taxes, both direct and indirect. Personal income tax, taxes on corporate income, and wealth tax, are the main heads of, direct taxes, customs duty, central excise duty, and service tax, are the other main, indirect taxes. Apart from taxes, which constitute the bulk of its earnings, the government also earns revenue, from other sources, such as, dividend and profits from public sector companies, interests on loan that it gives out, and also from disinvestment, telecom licenses, and spectrum revenues. 75.28% of the center's total receipts, in 2015-16, were estimated to come from taxes. This is net to center, after giving out the state's share. India's estimated, budgeted, net tax revenue collections, in 2015-16, is Rs 919,842 crore, 18.1% of the center's total receipts, are from sources others than taxes, India's estimated, budgeted, non-tax revenue collections, in 2015-16, is Rs 221,733 crore. The government, is likely to fall short of its budgeted tax revenue target, for 2015-16. It has also raised the excise duty, on petrol and diesel, a number of times, to make up for the revenue shortfall. But for higher excise duties, petrol and diesel, would have been cheaper than the current levels. Consumers would be expecting the government, to roll back these tax hikes. A countrywide goods and services tax, GST, is in the final stage. The average GST rate is expected to be 18%. The government may raise the service tax rate, from 14%, to bring it closer to GST rate. This may make most services costly.